I was pumping gas at the store below my house the other day when my homeboy pulls up. He's like, there you are. You were looking for me? I was, but I'm good now. I'm about to go in here and finish shitting. You said you got to finish shitting? How's that work? Well, I got started at your house. Then I had to swing by here and finish up. Wait. Bear with me, because I got a lot of questions running through my mind right now. But the main one that stands out is, how the hell did you get in my house? I didn't. The door was locked, so I had to shit beside the air conditioner. Wait, what'd you just say? I said the door was locked. No, after that. Oh, I had to shit beside the air conditioner. Why? Why? Uh, because it was an emergency. <laughs> Chill out, man, it's cool. No, fuck that, it's not cool. Well, what the hell was I supposed to do? Shit your pants. Okay, I don't know. Anywhere but my fucking yard. Oh well, what's done is done, so. Just be careful when you're with it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I go home to assess the damage, praying to God he was just kidding. Heads up, he wasn't. It looked like a fucking Shetland pony took a shit beside my house. I called my homeboy up, I'm like, Jesus Christ, Dwayne Johnson, what did you eat? <laughs> this is a lot of doo-doo. I mean, you had to finish up the store? There was more than this? Oh no, that was it. I just had to clean myself up at the store. <sighs> you mean you drove all the way to the store without wiping your ass? Oh, you a nasty motherfucker. So, what did we learn? Sometimes when you try to throw your shit off on somebody else, you end up having to sit in it for a little while. So, oh, no shit in my yard.